What's good, y'all? So we back again, and I'm still not sure if these women are looking for love <laughs> or looking to crack jokes. I can't lie, though. This is a this is a very intriguing watch, and be very clear when I say this. All these women are beautiful, but I just don't know if they're looking for love. Anyway, let's see what this next brother talking about, or rather what they talking about, because we know what he's here for. Let's get into it, though. Our next single guy, come on out. Right on over here. My man. Have you hold this? Okay. And if we can have you. <coughs> My name is Jeremy. What the f yo? God damn! God damn! God damn! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Y'all can't hold on, I gotta run that back. Hold on real quick. How old are you, Jeremy? I'm 27. 27, okay. What do you do? So I just graduated law school. Have you hold this? Okay, and if we can have your name. Damn! Yo, <laughs> that is every girl but one. Every girl? Why y'all even sign up for this show? This brother ain't even opened his mouth yet. And my guess is the fit. Normally it's the fit. And not saying that there's anything wrong with his fit, but given the pattern that I'm seeing with these women, they not digging what he got on, for sure. Let's see though. My name is Jeremy. And how old are you, Jeremy? I'm 27. 27, okay. What do you do? So I just graduated law school. Oh. So I just got hired for Dora Legal Services. That man said he just graduated law school. I know somebody's about to switch up, and I know somebody's going to regret popping that balloon. Somebody guarantee going to ask for that back. They popped it on that man because of his fit. I'm pretty sure. We ain't even get to the girls yet. But seeing as how he said he just graduated law school, I know they gonna switch up their tune. They got to. Congratulations. Man, check me out. <laughs> All me? right. And Jeremy, what do you look for in a woman? Man, I want somebody who can hold it down. Conversations. I love conversations. You know what I'm saying? She know how to throw it on because I go out every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I like honesty too, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lying to me. Shout out to the host too, man. She's doing a she's definitely doing her thing. I'm digging this. Feel me? If you on that, you know what I'm saying? If you we could talk about whatever, so you got secrets and shit. Talk okay. to me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. <laughs> a couple? Are you the Lulu? A couple. You got a couple of if, all of them is gone. Look at the floor. Look at look at the floor. Look at all that. It looked like somebody got shot. It sounded like somebody was getting sprayed up when he walked out. That's disrespectful. Y'all ladies is diabolical for that. Go to these ladies and see what's going on, all right? Let's see what's happening. Okay, let's start here. If we can have your name. I don't mean to laugh at Buddy, but that's all balloons. That's every single woman on that lineup popped. Every balloon you see, how, how? Brother, go home. Don't even, I don't even want to waste my time to walk down the line to find out why they didn't pick me. Like, I don't, I didn't do anything yet. I just showed up and all of y'all popped on me. Nah, respectfully though. How old you are? My name is Fiona and I'm 34. And Fiona, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I really like your smile, sure. but I just felt- Stop the cap. <laughs> Here we go with the BS. I like your smile, but you, no, you don't. No, you don't. You think I'm ugly. You think my smile is disgusting. Stop lying. Vibes um, immediately, and then I'm not sure if I like the hat and the shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just a sense of style. So, yeah, that's okay. it. All right. And now, is Fiona your type? Um, Fiona, what you looking for in a guy? I'm looking for a maturity. I'm looking for a leader. Okay. Um, and a breadwinner. What's a leader? Uh, someone that can teach me something new, because I feel like lately I've always teaching a man something, so I want someone to guide me and teach me something. Okay. So what if he could teach you something, but he a leader, he on the up and up, you know what I'm saying? You gonna hold it down, or you just gonna be like, oh, since you ain't got the bread, you dismiss? Well, it's not necessarily that, but it's also the age difference, too, so I don't know if you have a maturity for someone that'll be 35 this year. All right, when you was young, you ever dated somebody older? I have. All right, so what's up with the age then? Do you feel you can lead me? 
I think I can lead you wherever you're trying to go. Okay. That boy is good. Mm. Mm. Then I might reconsider my balloon being popped. Yeah. Sure. All right. Like the tap, though. Is that a butterfly? It is a butterfly. How many tattoos you got? Uh, about roughly 20. Okay. They mean something? He definitely feeling her though, cause he ain't move on yet. First of all, I wouldn't even gave Shorty that much time. You already popped on me. You getting tatted? No, they mean something. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. What's the <laughs> okay. best tat you got? Um. My man, if you don't move down the line already, she already popped the balloon. Why are you investing your time? Keep it moving, my man. Probably I got an Afro chick on my back, and it represents my sister. Oh, okay. In the past. Yeah. Okay, rest in peace. I feel that. Thank I you. have people that died. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I understand, you know. It hurt. We move on. We wreck. You know? Exactly. I'm moving on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kiana, you you feeling the vibe or I'm feeling the vibe. Oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> I like I like it. I like the aggression. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> okay, are we are we getting a <laughs> I like it. Boom back? I think we're getting a balloon back. Oh, <laughs> I can't throw the balloon back. Let's get that. Yeah. Hey, red, my mom's favorite color, too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. We're going to be back for you. Okay. All right, let's go to our next lady. We can have your name and how old you are. I'm Sierra. I'm 27 as well. Okay, all right, okay. 27, gang. <laughs> Sierra, why did you end up popping your balloon? <laughs> um, I popped the balloon for the fit. Because I know we both got on the phone and he said dress to impress. Um, and you wearing a hoodie. And it's not given for me, unfortunately. But honestly, I'm feeling the inside. Like, I like the voice. I like that you are interested in getting to know us. Yeah. I love your, you know, I, I, like your swag, whatever you want to call it. Like, I like that. But it's the fit for me because... <laughs> okay. First impressions are everything. And dress to impress, I'm about that. Okay. Like, style. It's not given for me. All right, I feel that. So, first impression, right? So, what else you see on my hoodie? D.O.F. and okay. a crown. All right, so that's also my LLC. Dreamers okay. Only Favorite. So, you know, I had to rep what I rep. I had Dreamers Only Favorite ever since high school, so I just got my LLC two years ago. Okay, so, respect. I know, admire that. I, I admire that. Podcast. You know what I like about him? Just like the last guy. He's not being petty. They not feeling him, but he could turn around and be real sour about it, but he's not. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 on attitude. He could be petty and say some slick shit to all these women, but he's choosing peace, and I could respect that. Side of this, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you should come. What's your tattoo mean? It doesn't matter! Let's go on to our next lady, then. Right, <laughs> if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Nucci. I'm 25. Send it. <laughs> and Nucci, why did you end up popping Nucci. your balloon? Um... Again, the fit. Um... I told y'all was that fit. Come on. Listen, not saying that I'm checking Buddy out, but I just, from their pattern, I knew the fit wasn't going to rock with them. Well, most of them. I don't know. I don't know what the other women's opinion are about this man, but I'm pretty sure the majority is going to be the fit. I like the shoes. I just think that you maybe could have cleaned them up before you came yeah. and maybe styled it a little bit different, but I do really like the shoes. Um, and I do it. like that you represent. I mean, they got a little dirt on them, but come on, man. In your LLC, your brand, your shit, um, yeah. that's dope. Um, and I really love that you always smiling. Like, you ain't <laughs> lost a smile yet. I uh, like that. I mean, but that was... look. Yo, you know what's wild? Every time he gets to a girl or every time these guys get to a woman, they tell them all the stuff that they like and they love about them, but they still pop the balloon. You don't love that. Stop lying. Like when you kind of walked on, it was kind of giving like I don't want to say goofy because like that's that's a terrible word, but it was just like the way you came on. I don't know. Okay. But yeah. And what happened to your finger? Because what is going so, on? So I also work on cars. So I was glad you noticed that. So I was fixing one of my homie cars. Mm -hmm. I got caught in the terminal belt. I almost took it for real. Oh I just lord. Got I was gonna wrap it up, but I'm gonna keep it gangster. So, <laughs> yeah, keep it gangster. You know I just wanted to know what happened, up. but that's what's up. You work on cars too, so you got your hands in a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I, like I do that. a lot. I do a lot. You know what I'm saying? These days you gotta have your hands in a lot of bags. You gotta be diverse. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It ain't back in the day where you could just make bag off one thing. You gotta make bag off multiple things. Absolutely, multiple incomes. I like that. 
This man just graduated law school and he got multiple streams of income. This is exactly why they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. They popped the balloon off this man's fit, but this young gentleman got his shit together. Let me ask you something, you toxic? No, honestly, um, I'm a behavioral health therapist. So when I started that job, I kind of like started to work on myself and that was the beginning of my like, um, self journey so like i've worked on myself a lot i used to be toxic i ain't gonna lie yeah i used to be that girl yeah but i ain't no more you I miss your ex nucci nucci stop lying say it again you miss your ex no uh, okay my ex is my biggest fan oh yeah but he is uh, okay <laughs> yeah oh, he be, oh is it off the body <laughs> It's like the body, that's what he doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so you take pride in the way you look, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's go on to our next lady. Exactly. If we can have your name and how old you are. on this shit. <laughs> my name is Quay, and... So up, Quay? That's how you said. Your age? And oh, my age. I'm 31. You're 31? Um, yeah. So, I just popped my balloon. I think everything you're saying sounds great. I like that you give off, like, a positive energy. Yeah. Um, which is really good. Um, it just seems like you're a little bit young okay. you remind me of maybe like a, a younger sibling that i have okay. uh. come on quay don't hit that man with the young brother talk i don't i, I that may be worse than saying his fit i would have went with the i don't like his fit but you saying that man reminds you of your little brother Oof. i think your head is on straight i think you got some big things that you got going on and i respect that yeah for sure where are you from I'm born and raised in Arizona. Oh, okay. Why are you single at 31? Um, I think I'm really picky, and um, I like what I like, and sometimes men tell me that my expectations are a little too high, so. So that was men that was obviously older than 31 or 31, right? That were older than 30, yeah, that were older than, older than me, but also younger guys. I feel like I'm kind of on a different journey, so... I know what I was doing at, you know, in my 20s. I was having fun, you know, and doing what I'm supposed to do. So I don't expect a man to step up, you know, at 25 and or, you know, in their 20s and kind of be on the same type of stuff I'm on. So, so what you expect out of a man when you're 31? Um, I expect them to be a provider, a protector, um, to have. Yeah, but he could do that. He, this man got a bright future ahead of him. What? I get it. Y'all popped the balloon, but you have a chance to redeem yourself hearing all this man's accomplishments. Why not just skip all the, you know, I don't like, listen, age ain't nothing but a number. Be clear. As long as they legal, we, we're not talking about like 15 years old, but y'all get the point. Communication together, because I've noticed a lot of not even just men, but people in general, they don't know how to communicate, you know? Um, so there's a lot of things that I expect. I expect for him to come with his own because I have my own and for us to be able to come together at one point and, you know, build on what we already have together, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, so you think it's a price on love? You think it's an age on love? I don't think there's an age, but um, I think I have given different age groups. Um, and when I say that, like, you know, younger than me, um, and I kind of get the same results. So I always say it. I ain't even going to cap. This dude want to know too much information about these women that don't want them. I would have kept him moving respectfully, though. This this has nothing to do with being petty. It's like y'all don't want me. I don't I don't need to know any more information about you because we it's not going anywhere. You know, if I'm going to keep doing the same thing, I'm going to keep doing the, you know, getting the same results. So I'm you a fan of Nicki Minaj? <laughs> Yes, I am. You a fan of Beyonce? Yes, I love her. Okay, so Beyonce married somebody way older than her. Nicki Minaj dated Meek Mill when he was young. My nigga. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> that man hit you with some cold lines just now. What you got to say about that? I'm Quay, and mm -hmm. I can't really <laughs> speak for what anybody else does. What I can say is with my experiences, the, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting, you know, different results. So I'm trying to do something different this time around. Uh, okay. okay, for sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. Josette, and I'm 29. Seven. And Josette, why gender popping your balloon? Um, age, really, that's it. The way you're dressed, I feel like 
first impressions are everything. I, I understand, you know, you trying to promote your brand and all of that, but just like maybe you could have wore like a shirt that had, you know, the DOF or a collared shirt or, you know, something else. But okay. it was really just those, those few things. I appreciate your smile, your energy. You have a great aura. Appreciate I really that. am big on that. Like oh, yeah, you your know. smile, a lot of people comment compliment my smile and say that I have a smile that makes others smile and you really do have a smile that makes everyone else smile. You know so that. appreciate that, but that, that was it. That actually makes sense. Where are you from? I'm from here, Arizona. Oh, okay. Mm. So you never thought about leaving, doing something else? Yeah, I'm actually planning on leaving soon. You ever did school or anything? Um, yes, I have a bachelor's in health science. Oh, okay. Health so what science you do for uh, what you do for a living? Flight attendant and a makeup artist. Okay, you gonna go into the health department? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know um, if I want to actually pursue that. It was just a personal goal that I wanted to accomplish with getting my bachelor's, which I did. So it's just something I'm keeping in in my bag in case I gotta use it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Congratulations though on graduating law school. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So wait, real quick. So. What you um? What you bring to the table? Um, I feel like I am the table. You're goddamn right. Respectfully, of course. I, I'm not even mad at that. Do I bring the table? Or I am the table. Um, so what's on the table? I bring communication. I bring groundness. I feel like the world is crazy, especially as a black man. When dating black men, you have to deal with so much. Coming home to someone who you can unleash everything that you experience throughout the day with is important. Someone who can provide a meal, which is the basic stuff, you should be able to do that. Um, someone who you can confide in as a best friend, have good times, and even have bad times. Someone who, can, who you can learn from. Um, someone who you can teach things. Yo, he is really speed dating. I don't even want to say speed dating. He's dating all of them individually, and all of them popped on him. I just feel like I am able to do all of that uh, based off of like what I've really been through. Yo, I forgot that girl name in the back. The one that um, dude was like, her hair looks like ramen noodles, but she is super duper short. As an individual, um, the good things and the bad things in life, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like I bring, I bring a lot to the table, which is why I said I am the table. All right, okay. She reminds me of that girl that... um. The one, I, I forget what episode it was, but she was telling old boy that she don't like how he um, speaks on his day-to-day -day speak. I think her name was like um, Rosetta. What was this girl's name? Hold up. You know what? Never mind. I can't remember it. If y'all saw it, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. The real short, short one that had on the clip-on ponytail. Oh, is just that your type? No. Okay, why not? Cause I think she got a good head on her shoulders. I just think she looking for the wrong things. She know what she want, but I think she looking for the wrong things right now. So I'm not your type because of your, the way that you think I am? Because you like that I'm in law school. You like my smile. No, I didn't say I like that. Well, I said Well, you congratulate. congratulated me. Yeah, because okay. that's an accomplishment in your personal life. Okay, so I'll be happy for my friend to graduate law school. Like. I, I, you know, like if you see somebody on social media and they say that they just graduated, I don't have to know you to congratulate you. That's just a human trait that you should be able to congratulate other people on their success. You don't like that though? Do I like it? I, I, I don't think that that's something that I can put in the category of like or not like. I think that that was a personal goal that you accomplished. And so me as a human being who was raised correctly, I feel like I should congratulate you. I feel like everybody should congratulate you. That's something that is hard to accomplish, and you did that. I mean, she's not wrong, though. I, I feel where she's coming from. Because you said, you know, you like a person with a good smile, light up the room. You say I didn't you say liked, I liked it. You, well, you said you I said I noticed it, okay, and I love it. your aura. And you love my aura. Yes. Okay, so, so you, you don't can, like it, you love it. I okay. love your aura. Yeah, so. that you can say I, I like or love. <laughs> I love your aura. I did say that, yes. All right, so if you like the aura, mm -hmm. and you worried about the swag, I'm not worried about the swag. The swag wasn't the only thing that I said. My man, my man, keep him, you're getting everything wrong. Were you even paying attention to what this young lady was saying? I don't, I don't, but just keep it moving, brother. You popped your balloon. No. That is why you say you popped your balloon. I said multiple reasons. Mm. You, you said you're a good listener. She's got a point. Hold up. 
Well, it's because of your age. Okay. You're 29. Okay. I feel like you might be too young. You might not be ready for what I'm ready for or what I bring to the table. What exactly is that? Gang, gang, he tried though. I'm gonna say he was having a conversation with these ladies in hopes that they would ask for their balloon back, but it didn't really go that way. I mean, some of the women did have valid points as to why they didn't wanna mess with him, but then some of the responses were kinda cookie cutters, like copy paste, she said what she said, and then she said what the last girl said. All in all, it's entertainment to me. I love it, and I'm gonna keep watching. So like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You already know, respectfully, of course. <laughs> Sensational.